Hey guys, Cameron Blagan here coming to you with another video on how to make your own FPV racing drone. This episode is really exciting because we're going to be uh, connecting the uh, controller receiver here, the RX, uh, to the Lux Flight controller and then flight testing this baby. Um, this is going to be my uh, maiden on this guy, this episode, uh, which is always an exciting flight. Um, and then we will learn uh, some more uh, things that need to be tuned uh, or maybe a few things we need to look at. Um, but we're going to be connecting this, uh, setting up flight modes and arming in clean flight, um, and then maiden testing this guy. So I'm calling this the uh, controller and RX setup video. Uh, so let's just get right into it and see how do you connect your RX. All right, so this is really not super complex here, uh, but what you got is um, your receiver. This is the Furious FPV uh, receiver. I've done a review on this before if you want to check this out. Uh, it's really a great little receiver. Um, I have used it before um, and I've now transferred it to this because this was my original plan. Uh, it's just taken a little longer to build this drone than I planned. Um, but I transferred it to here. I've loved it. Uh, it's great. Check out a link uh, to that in the video where I review it. Um, and also um, in all of these videos I suggest some uh, links to products that you can use below. Uh, most of them are from Race Day Quads, which is a great U.S. company. Uh, I really have never had a bad experience with them. Uh, also, a little shout out for Race Day Quads and their products there. So, uh, we've got, you can see there, the little S-Bus words, the five, plus five volt words, and then the uh, ground right there. And the words are pretty small, uh, but I think you can see it there. Um, and that then connects right next to it on the Lux Flight controller. So uh, the RX uh, you can see is very well marked on here um, and that yellow goes straight from the top of the Flux Light controller uh, to right there to the uh, and this says S bus. This is the telemetry pad uh, which I may connect at a later date. Uh, but for now I'm just going to leave it off because I don't want to mess with it um, and it's a little bit out of the scope of this video but in the future there may be a little quick tutorial on telemetry uh, but if you do want to connect that that's where you're connecting it right now and um, that connects to the Lux Flight controller. Uh, you've got the S bus here uh, connecting again to the RX and you just you have to use S bus on the uh, <coughs> Lux. Uh, it doesn't do PPM or PWM. You've got to do the uh, S bus, but that's great. Uh, and if you have a uh, Tyrannus, and I have the new X7, I'm going to be uh, doing a little video on, which is going to be great. Uh, you can use that as well. So five volts there to five volts on the board. Uh, you can see very well marked again, right below the RX. This is kind of a little RX bay on the board. Uh, it's just three pads right in a row, and then you've got your ground, which connects from ground right to the ground on here. And that's all you got to do. And then uh, you can see the little LED really tiny LED on the uh, controller should light up after you uh, have wired that all correctly um, and it's not bound yet so it's blinking. Uh, we're gonna again also uh, let you know how to uh, bind it if you have a QX7 or a Tyrannus, um other Tyrannus controller we're gonna also do that in this video. Uh, so let's hop on the computer change a few settings and then we will uh, bind the controller. So we're going to uh, work now on binding this to the uh, Tyrannus QX7. Um, so we are going to follow, again this is Furious FPV, we're going to follow their instructions found on the website. Okay, so what you're going to do is on this model page, uh, and I'm going to obviously rename my model a little bit later, you're going to hit page here. You're going to hit this middle button here, sorry, first, and then you're going to hit uh, this page button uh, until you get to setup. Uh, and at setup, you're going to scroll down to the very bottom, so if you want, you can go backwards uh, like I just did. And again, this is page two. You're going to go to the bottom, up a little bit, and you're going to go to mode. And uh, it's going to be either D8 or D16. Uh, there are LR12s too, uh, a little less common, uh, but D8 is what I'm going to be using. Uh, then you're going to set your channel range, but if it is a D8, it's going to be 1 through 8, so I would just leave that. Okay, so now we are set there. So you're going to leave this here for a second, and we're going to come back over to the drone. So if you'll remember from my uh, the beginning of the video, there's this little bind button here. Uh, there will be some sort of bind button on your receiver as well. So we're going to use that. And so this part gets a little bit tricky. So what you're going to want to do, pull this bind button down. And the green button will come on, and then on your uh, your controller, you're gonna hit that bind we talked about, and it'll blink, and it beeped, and the LED turned off, which means we are now bound. And now you can hit exit, and you are bound. 
uh, or you're out of bind mode, um, you see the LED has began blinking again on there, a little green one. Uh, and again, just for reference, it, this is the bind button you are turning on on the Tyrannus or your controller. And now you're bound. All right, so uh, again, this is how to set the channels. Uh, you're going to hit on the Tyrannus X7 at least. You're going to hit uh, the page button there, go to page 6, um, and you'll see the mixer. So you're going to choose one of these channels. Uh, normally, you just touch on it right now. I have to hold on it and hit edit. Uh, and then you're going to hit the source. You can also name it if you want, but you're going to hit source. Uh, and then you can scroll and select anything you want. Uh, right now I have uh, switch F on there, and that is what I'm going to keep. Uh, this is not where you do the trim. The trim is going to be on the next page here, um, and you can click on all these. And uh, I don't necessarily have to trim my aux channels, but you can edit these um, and edit the sub trims there, uh, as you can see. Uh, so that's how you do that. Uh, if you do want to rename your model on here, uh, you go to setup, page two. Uh, and then you can rename your drone whatever you want. I'm going to name it, oops, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. It looks like all lowercase, that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and just name it. Cam... for cam quad and that is how to rename uh, your thing really cool font actually too kind of tyrannous font uh, to rename your drone